Hi guys, so we're going to start with a reading for the collective for those firstly, the first part will be about those who have already been awoken by a twin flame and the second half will be about those who are about to wake up um, this time with their twin flames, okay? So we'll start with the reading for the twin flames first. Like everybody, I'm feeling the energy shift as well and uh, feeling the energy quite drained, um, quite normal. You just need to focus on positives um, and that mental gardening I always talk about, um, not allowing negative thoughts or any self-doubt to creep up, um, taking it out of your mind immediately. Focus on things you like about yourself, set positive intentions, okay? Because we will have um, that return to us very quickly, okay? The Lion's Gate is about union, okay? So let's see. We have keep an open mind, romantic feelings and past life relationships coming out first for the twins. So it, we get to these times, don't we, where we feel very, uh, we start to doubt at times that, okay, is this connection really going to work? But your soulmate may change, okay? Like you've changed, this is the first thing to remember. Those who have already met their twin flame, your soulmate may differ from your usual type or your usual expectations. You're expecting the old person back and I often say in my readings that you try, might be trying to manifest somebody who doesn't exist. And what I mean by that is they've been through the same soul journeys as you. Um, twin flames, they're often mirroring and experience similar things. Um, they've been through the dark night of the soul transformation so of course we can expect them to have changed right yes your feelings are real and worth exploring okay um once it is hard work but once we do the work um we can then find that it's worth it in the end that's why we see the card um you know it's, it's worth the wait right trust your feelings that this is your twin flame you're being asked okay you have known each other before. You've spent many lifetimes together. So also with Lionsgate, we can expect that recognition. So if your twin was asleep and you was awake, we can expect your twin to wake up, okay, during this time. So let's see here what we have. For those who know their twin flames, remember the first half of this. And I guess what we can do with like messages, not only about the connection, but what we can do at this time. Uh, it's a wonderful thing, right? Um, not to solely focus on them or it's codependent. So let's see here. Trying not to knock the table. So. Four of Wands, <laughs> wonderful. We have the union here, okay? So we can expect the union, like I said, love and unity. Um, this is especially relevant for those who are trying to man manifest and call in unity at this time, okay? Um, or even maybe a soulmate of true love because some of you, your twin might be awake and you might be awake and you know, you might have decided not to be together. So what you need to do is visualize because what we focus on right now, it manifests a lot quicker during Lionsgate. Lionsgate is, uh, it starts and opens around the 28th of July. So it's not just today, don't panic. <laughs> um, but you start to feel the energy. And today is when um, the sun is in Leo and the Sirius star are aligned and closest to the earth. So, this is good for ceremonies, but it doesn't have to be just today, okay? King of Pentacles here. So I see the masculine and feminine getting lots of 3D, it's earth, physical, what we can see, okay? Union, lots of, if you're in your divine calling, lots of money coming back from new ventures and things like that where you're seeing 11-11, Wherever you're putting your focus at this time, it's going to be really strong, okay? Um, it has been 
a very difficult year I feel like probably a very difficult several several months here but you know we want to now focus on what is in this physical world because usually when we first are awakened by our twin flames it's usually um, mostly in the spiritual world um, but it's not it's also not a negative right um, we do most of the work alone um, so it's opening up this new beginning okay because um, 8 8 is a portal so it's opening up this portal for a new beginning not only for union but for you to manifest um, these spiritual powers this 11 11 so if you've really been seeing that um, and it also brings with it this remembrance here of past life so it's a good time to get that sort of reading also um, showing you both in king energy which is wonderful both giving ready and nurturing yourself um i do say that we should aim to be like attracting so maybe that next step up and unity would be empress and emperor okay um <clears throat> you know trying to take on a lot of that but it's showing you both look at this um wonderful it's showing destined this new approach with you both as kings now and new way of looking at things new open mind here um with union here in the physical but this is also this love as well right we can't forget that um a lot of the times we are you know solely focused on the love when we first start out <laughs> if you can remember back to when you first start out with your twin we're solely focused on the love and waiting for our partner to be ready for love but this is showing you both with a new self okay um and working to emerge in that twin connection right i feel like this is really really good for you you'll get a look at this person in a whole new light where this is where that keep your open mind keep your mind open here okay because you will really get to see it um <clears throat> So with the chariot, that's destiny, okay? So you're destined to repeat lives together until you get it right. And uh, nothing wrong with that, okay? So nothing wrong with that. Um, you've needed a new approach this lifetime because what you've been doing wasn't working. So you've been aw awakened to this connection here. The strength card, okay. So <laughs> this is that eight that we're speaking of that lion's gate right sorry i'm trying really hard not to knock my um camera arm here but this is the gateway okay um i feel if the masculine energy is sort of moving away and remember masculine is male or female but if the masculine energy, the chaser energy, is now sort of pulled back. So I feel like if you as a masculine female, you've done a good job to balance your feminine energy here. Um, the strength card by itself is what we were already speaking of. That, um, you know, I call it mental pruning, don't I? Gardening in your mind to ensure that you're thinking positive all the time okay um especially at this time because what you're thinking will instantly manifest so focusing on physical union okay and like i said those of you who may have been awake to your twin but your twin asleep hope you're still with me um so you know have forgotten from their past life this indicates that them waking up maybe in a way that is difficult for them so it may be quite challenging okay it may be quite rough <laughs> here it is prince of swords this is that quite sharp energy i was feeling um because the prince of swords is honorable and it's somebody telling the truth but it's words that can hurt okay um so i feel like a lot of you should be doing like soul protection rituals and things like that uh though those things to protect your higher selves at this time because your twin is going to go through um awakening and it is going to be <laughs> sharp and shocking to them i i anyway, i'm under no doubt that it was sharp and shocking to you as well you know um but this 
year we also have the new moon in Leo okay which is today 8-8 um, and it adds like this extra va va voom to it right to set your intentions and your new course and your new beginnings this is what we're seeing here um, so this huge ascension but I, I feel it's more together we can see them here it's doing it together elevating together so like I said if you have a twin that was sleeping they're about to wake up so you who already know your twin will already uh, you'll start ascending and that ascension together it's this ancient wisdom um, <clears throat> waking up okay so yeah wonderful <laughs> four of pentacles it's like they're realizing um, they never quite let you go you could have gone into separation, broken up, but they never, you know, quite let you go. So they're remembering not only the past life together, and it's more a vibration, okay, that's sent out, like, rather than a memory that pops into your head, if, if we was to think of it that way. It's not that way. It's more a vibration um, that is sent out, okay? So using your awareness, like, okay, I might need to protect myself at this full moon. I want to set intentions for a new home in this under this new full moon. That's a four of wands that we can see there, a new business, a new love, things like that coming into your life. So there will be a lot of transformations going on. It's like it might feel even a lot with the chariot all of a sudden, okay? Um, but it's it's the whole planet, so we can't really say it's just you and this is why I'm doing it more of a collective I did want to do or think about doing it as individual signs but it's more of the planet and everybody on it um with you know going through this awakening sometimes it is rocky but it's sort of going to lead us closer to that spiritual bliss right so <clears throat> let's see Six of Pentacles, <laughs> what I want to see. I want to see um, more coming back in in regards to money with the Six of Pentacles, uh, what I'm putting out to get back, right? Um, so we do have the potential of challenges at the beginning, I guess. Um, and that's probably more to do with the Lilith, but I've got Capricorn in my Lilith, so that means like that started from the bottom energy. So um, if we can see the king of pentacles up here if you're just starting something it's absolutely wonderful for that if you start something now and you've got capricorn and lilith and things like that um it will really take off um it'll, it's probably good for most earth the probably more so earth water fire here the you know if you're wanting to start a business this is the time i would feel like maybe Leos have some unfinished business to deal with if or more towards the fiery energy have some unfinished business to deal with um, So you may even be in a job you don't like and things like that um, <clears throat> Or there's some sort of toxic energies that you've still Refused to cut out of your life because these can be you know friends and family and things like that if you've refused to do the work then obviously we can't yeah, you're left out in the cold you're you can't get the reward, so to speak. I'm going to bring another one. Um, Nine of Swords and Seven of Pentacles. So there is this energy of doubt here creeping in when we start to feel this lack energy that comes with transformations. Um, there could be even like this female energy that's projecting some like harsh stuff onto you. So I'd just be aware of that as well. It can be, or, you know, make somebody, like, doubting you so it um, spreads on to you sort of thing. So do be aware of letting, well, not just female, but um, anybody put that <clears throat> onto you, okay? Because I'll tell you now, we are going to go through a little, well, this nine, it's related to the hermit, so it's related to self, So and it's sword. So before... Libra, Libra season we will deal with a little mini Mercury retrograde um, and that is because Juno moves direct this Monday so yeah Mer what's going on with Mercury forces us to look more at ourselves in the past 
rather than you know love situations in the past with the usual mercury retrograde that sort of thing so things that will come in to tempt us to overspend we will look at ourselves and be accountable so as always mercury it does it does you know bring us progress but at first we take that look back and the look back here with this energy is at yourself and if you feel off track where you went off track right because it could be that you started a business and then stopped or something here or you started doing your spiritual work and stopped and then you're waiting but if you're waiting and you stopped working then nothing's coming back right you know i'm always telling you guys we reap what we sow it's not necessarily we're reaping bad things we have to sow good things okay um so this is like a highly significant event that's going on as you know mercury's in conjunction with the sun it's just showing here um, an intense focus on self and how we communicate with ourselves or how we how you yourself communicates to others in the world and is it how you're communicating that you don't get back what you want it's about clarifying um, what it is you actually want here and are you telling that to people high priestess and queen of pentacles there so are you telling people what you actually want and when, and when you are telling those people, this is what I want, say from a job or a relationship, are you treating yourself that same way? Because we tend to lose perspective really, don't we? And have a tricky time seeing um, how we treat ourselves and then allow other people to treat us. So yeah, I feel it's more rethinking how we are with ourselves and needing to remember to nurture ourselves. okay? Um, the high priestess here it's it is a portal so these spiritual powers and spiritual downloads that we will be receiving will be in abundant i'm not sure in which video i said it the other day that i actually needed to write what felt like a whole book of messages um because i wasn't putting videos out so because i was getting so many messages and people wasn't picking up on those messages it was like overwhelming within me that i had to write them all down um so this may be happening to you if you're you know you've got a headache and things like that feeling fatigued it might even be that you're being asked okay look what you're putting into your body if, if, to what you want out of it and you know it, this spiritual energy does require a lot of time and help right because health sorry because and that is the sixth house as well so you know um what needs healing focus on that in your life what needs this attention focus on that whether it's how you speak to yourself because you will have seen the videos where we speak to water and you know water or rice i think i've seen it done with um it be goes off quicker and I th water when you speak to it negative and you freeze it it actually it forms black crystals so if you're like 80% water then speak positively to yourself okay and then we'll see this is what we'll, we'll be forced to do in this little mini retrograde before um, Libra season okay so let's get these Like I said, I'm really trying not to knock the camera here because it will be shaky and I don't want it to be shaky for you. Okay, Ace of Cups, look at that. Love and union, we said it from the beginning and this is a reminder what the work is for, okay? Um, this togetherness. Uh, Nine of Swords, and we had the Nine of Swords here. It's suffering and silence, that is your twin waking up um so if you keep waking up in the middle of the night we can see that your twin is as well some of you are seeing that 1919 everywhere um it would just bring us back to one in numerology and that's that focus on self okay spiritual union jumping off onto my arm there <laughs> uh, moving on here 
So it's more moving forward with that light as well there. So we have two, six, four in that. That would be 10, 12, take us to three, union, holy trinity. <laughs> there it is, the three. And there's the one. Prosperity begins, that's Ace of Pentacles, and the universe is bringing you this offer now, okay? So we have 25, 2 plus 5, 7, um, that's House of Marriages, Hope, 17. We are spiritually married to our twin flame anyway, most of you will know that in the beginning of this read because it's for those who already know each other here so we have now 26 so that is eight abundance lion's gate and this is where it brings us back to um so we are going to see abundance and blockages removed if we're manifesting we're manifesting a love union up here okay um so those who held out hope and continue to do their work will be in union first for those of you who um, stopped your work, this is just a gentle reminder to continue to work, um, to continue doing your spiritual work, okay? Your life path, your divine calling here, because it'll overwhelm you and you'll be sent these messages by the universe. You're working towards this firm foundation. That's what that six of swords is, by thinking positively. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, and that's for the twins who know each other. Okay, if your twin is asleep, your twin is about to wake up because what's been sent out by this lion's gate here is this recognition, this wake up call. And this is why I will move on to those who are just questioning, am I in a twin flame connection? What is a twin flame connection? And we'll get a read put out for them also. So, you can stay if you like to support me. Uh, all the ways to support the channel, there is membership. Um, and there is liking and sharing, right guys? Watching adverts helps me out a lot here. Um, keeps the channel going and promotes me to do more messages so I don't have to write them in a book. <laughs> If anybody knows any publishers, get at me. I'll have a book of messages here um, that <laughs> need to be heard. That's the problem. The messages need to be heard. So this is for if you're just waking up to a twin flame connection here. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. Okay, pay attention to the red flags reverse. So you're being shown signs and maybe thinking like, oh no, this is not my person. But you have to trust this situation here. It is safe for you to love. In a twin flame connection, you're learning how to give and receive love, okay? And again, that romantic feelings, being able to trust what you feel, that this is means something more here than just... Um, a normal relationship so you have when it says pay attention to the red flags we really have to stand in our truth and understand if somebody is not being good to us we need to walk away from it regardless of the twin flame connection trust that the right thing will start to happen the wake up will start to happen within them I used to try and tell the message as quick as possible that if you walk away from them, it's a lot easier the work than them walking away from you and you knowing and them not knowing because it's kind of the difficult route to, I guess, keep going when you have to deal with the heartbreak and the loss of self-esteem and everything else all at once because it is a lot of work. So for those who are just waking up, do get a spiritual mentor. It just makes it easier in the long run. You're just like, why didn't I do this in the beginning? You know, take the shortcut there because all of us have done it the long way. <laughs> like I said, it took me 10 years to get into my union. So, and it was on and off. <laughs> Four of cups. Um, this is rejection that you'll be going through right now. Um, not knowing why, 
why has this happened to me when this was the best love I ever felt? Why have they now rejected me? Knight of Cups. Five of Cups. And Seven of Pentacles. So, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, Five of Cups here. Um, so, during this time, you will be pushed to wake up and you'll see a lot of signs. Um, they're not red flags, they're signs. The red flags card was reversed, remember? So these are a lot of signs indicating that you, rejection is your protection. First thing you should learn, 101, uh, rejection is divine protection. So don't try and make offers because you miss somebody because you're putting your energy um, into... It's, it's, it's like putting your energy into something that will not change until this work's done. So it's a waste of energy. It's okay to miss somebody. It's okay to love somebody in separation. It's okay to love somebody from afar. But you're feeding energy and a lot of emotion. Um, you might feel a lot of emotion at this time. Very sad um, emotional outbursts even. Um, because you feel reject rejection. What the divine is asking of you is to look deeper than this connection. And look within yourself. That where is this coming from? Because most of the traumas are just reflected back to us by our twin flame. Okay. Um, for us to deal with. Seven of Swords, so they rejected you and ghosted you here. Eight of Wands, you're messaging and reaching out. Nine of Swords, um, the more you reach out and the more you're ignored, the worse you'll feel. Um, this is sleepless nights turn into anxiety. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I, I, I want to talk to them. I just want to ask them, did they really love me, will they? You know, um, so you'll be extremely drained with this. Um, the more you try to chase them, you will be extremely drained because this is tiring with the Seven of Pentacles, waiting for them to call you and they don't call. Um, so you're waiting all night and you're waiting all day and you're waiting all night and you're waiting all day and it gets you nowhere. These sevens are challenges, but we see the eight here, so it's okay. It's for, you know, your own good, where you can go. Uh, the Divine here is showing you which way to go. So. If you're trying to go one way and message somebody and they're ignoring you, it's showing that way blocked. So if your way to move back is easier, that's your blockages to remove to take care of self here. So both sets of twins, those who already know and those who are just about to find out, are going through this feeling of aloneness and this suffering in silence. Um, keeping it to yourself, wanting to maybe reach out to somebody and your advice to reach out to like-minded people and your spiritual community. You might find forums and things like that where you can get this extra help. You're being told here, Queen of Pentacles, to put that back into you. Start taking care of yourself. Start sleeping, start eating better. That's where you start and that's where you put your focus. Um, start, start with your own health here it is because when you go through that rejection, it's seven of swords, it's, you know, self-doubt. And you go through that ghosting, that cheating, that deception, that lying. You start to doubt yourself, you start to question yourself. So that's mental health. So physical, mental health, it starts with food. If you start training, you'll start to feel better and things like that. Um, so you need to embrace the Queen of Pentacles energy. The only way you can be, like, helpful to others and humanity, and that's our goal as twins, um, is to you know, give, serve humanity, then it has to start with serving yourself because you can't help nobody if you're not in any shape to, okay? Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> you will be drawn to a new career here, but it might feel like your whole world is falling down because something very stable has come to an end. This is because you're about to go through a transitional period where everything will change. Every cell in your body will change, okay? I think it kind of like, it kickstarts like a seven year process of, you know, even you rejuvenate everything, but first everything must fall down, right? And this is what I'm seeing, like we all fall down here sort of thing. Um, so this 10 of pentacles, it does offer, you know, this everlasting and strong physical presence in your life, which will always be there and will always remain. because. This is a love that's changed you and will change you forever. Um, and you can expect union if you do the work. 
if you don't do the work, you're almost destined to repeat the cycle and be haunted by, you know, what could have been and should have been and signs and red flags in new relationships and things. Um, because whether you want to be with your twin flame or not, um, we still have to do the spiritual work. Like I said, it's the collective awakening that's happening right now. So let's see here. Nine of Pentacles, you've got to learn to be strong on your own. So pick yourself up from this Nine of Swords and uh, things will start to improve as you grow and learn more about who the new you is. So it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to suffer, but don't do it in silence. It's okay to love from afar and miss somebody. Um, but don't do it from, you know, a place of lack. And this is what you'll find on these spiritual message boards and things that how to get into union and all these kind of things. And that's the end goal. And what jumped out was the spiritual union here. That's what you're heading for. It will kind of be like, you'll see readings first, like your ex is returning, especially as from here, we'll go to Virgo season and then so it might feel like things slow down and then we'll go to Libra season where the general energy will be the past needs dealing with. So your ex is returning, right? So it will feel <laughs> first card out, Mercury retrograde, right? So the first time, I guess, is when, like I said, Mercury is going to have a little bit of an effect on us now, if you was watching from the beginning, um, where we will start to look, but we'll look at self. Don't take on this self-destruct energy, okay? We have a spiritual union, conflict and defeat, and stand your ground. So this first part is about you learning to love yourself and stand up for yourself and know that you're risking to, you're ready to lose it all for standing up for yourself, for respecting yourself. You've got, your self-respect will make you more romantically attractive, so... The goal is here, stand up for yourself. Emotional withdrawal. Uh, this is the four of cups as well, eight of cups here. Um, there's the other eight. Disconnected, sorry, discontented and boredom. Um, so what I'm feeling there is because they left and withdrawn their love from you, you feel disconnected. Um, it's not what the goal is supposed to be for. Here we have um, the energy of five, okay? Two, seven, seven, fourteen, five. Um, in numerology, so the fives is the changes that are happening now. We can see the five in there, so it's a very cold, harsh change. You might uh, meet them around Libra season as well, or go through separation around that time. Um, this watery energy with this eight and four here, this them walking away, you have to recognise. You can't just say. I'm gonna get my ex back and things like that. You have to recognize this person has chose to walk away and then you can rebuild yourself better, okay? Because you're, you're walking away from codependency and these issues that you was, you know, putting a plaster over in the past. There's no more of putting a plaster over a big gaping wound. This is wake up time. So that recognition that this is my twin, um, and I will get the reward if I do the work. That's the three of pentacles. It's rebuilding yourself. Seven of pentacles there. Um, sorry. Yeah. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. And the other eight is here as well. So you are heading towards a lot of abundance as well. This is temptation, the devil in this deck. Um, so did I say the number four, the second row? Let's see. Um, 15 here. So... 15, 1, 6, 6 is related to the lovers and the 6th house, so it's to focus while you're away from them, you're to find your service to humanity, focus on health and giving back to others. Um, the 7 of pentacles, patience and planning, 8 of pentacles, positive movement and forward, that's your growth that you'll experience. The devil card is getting rid of any toxic energy that's around you. So it really does mean having to be harsh and cut people off even when we don't want to. So it can be that we go through these things that we start to, if we are growing with that Eight of Pentacles, we usually outgrow people, okay? So don't be too shocked when you outgrow toxic people and they don't want to come with you. They don't want to know what is going on. You'll realise I'm wasting a lot of energy putting into a lot of people who aren't really that great for me and never really was. 
Okay, Patience. Two of Wands, The Waiting Game. And Two of Pentacles, Movement, Choices and Decisions. Um, so we have 30 in this column, so which would be the free um, union. Okay, so there's more to the number three in spirituality than just union, but it is eventually your goal. Okay, and the more you start to look up by yourself, the better it is for you. Okay, um, so here we have 18, so it's a nine, like I said, the more you do yourself it's more work and you have a lot of time to do the work don't start to worry about time with that waiting game like the first thing is you start to worry about um oh is my twin back yet is my twin back yet are they coming back now if you put your f focus there seven of pentacles you're putting it in a lose-lose situation and a dead end you're feeding soil and there's nothing even planted there so you've genuinely got to do the work. You can't make somebody run a marathon for you or train for the marathon and then you run the marathon, right? So you, you have to do the work yourself here. And this is why the time in separation, being on your own, is very important. It's not a punishment of any sort. It's to help you grow and rebuild. Um, Recognise who you are and that you're a twin flame and that your service is to humanity. If you do it that way, things will go a lot quicker and a lot smoother. Um, but set your intentions, everybody, um, because we will see these spiritual things manifesting now, okay? Very quickly. Good luck, guys.